All right guys, it's Gary Dean. How are you today? Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you don't already uh, so you can get the updates when I put out new videos. Um, I wanna talk today about why you're wasting money. Um, here's the thing. Been thinking and talking about it to lots of people in the past 24 hours and the problem is you don't know that you're wasting money when you're wasting it. That's the biggest problem here because, well, if you did know you were wasting the money, you probably wouldn't be wasting it. Here is the issue. So most products that just randomly come out on the market aren't necessarily in your regimen. But the thing about the regimen is if you're not established, you don't really have one yet, which is where I come in. I want to help you to try to put that together. So, you know, the biggest deal here is social media can really lead you in the wrong direction when it comes to buying products, using products, testing products, and all that kind of thing. Everybody wants, I should say, everybody gets into detailing as a hobby. They, they want to, to be able to do the thing that they love to do and to basically do it all the time. They want to take the love, the passion that they ha have, and they want to make money doing it. The problem is a lot of people can't make that transition. In fact, most people who go into detailing, they don't make it because they have a hard time transitioning their hobby into profit. So taking the passion that you have for detailing and turning it into money. I mean, that ultimately you go into business to make money. I mean, um, me, I mean, I mean, I've had, I have currently have five different businesses. I'm always doing something. Um, and I've, I've always been in sales, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, I, I, I do marketing, advertising, you know, all kinds of different stuff. Um, I'm, I'm definitely a sales guy. I'm a business guy for sure. I love business and you know, I jumped into this thing as a hobbyist too, and I spent tons of money I shouldn't have spent. In fact, I spent money on detailing stuff when I didn't have money for gas. I mean, yeah, I've been doing this for 15 plus years, and it hasn't always been as successful as it is now. It took a while for me to figure out what I needed to do to become successful and to put money in my pocket. Um, you know, as life goes on, more and more responsibilities come come into your life and you need to find a way to fund that operation. I mean, that's the bottom line is funding. And, you know, I, I'm, I, I sell myself every day. I'm, you know, I'm definitely a, um, a, a salesman and um, I'm a manager, I'm a laborer, I'm an advertising executive, I'm a, I mean, I'm, I'm all these hats and you have to be all of that to be in business. But, and, and, and you know, and to work for yourself and be successful at it, you've got to know the business side as well as the hobbyist, like, you know, the, the laborer side, the passionate side, it has to be there to provide good quality results in anything that you do, but you don't have to waste money on all these, anything and everything, the latest, great, latest and greatest stuff that comes on the market. I mean, there are product line manufacturers that literally have 10 different lines of, of different products. And for, I, I, I know why they do that. They, they do that and they continue to release new products to keep you interested, to keep you buying. They want you to spend that money. And now, for business, that's good. That's what they want. I mean, you want to feel like you're a part of something. You want to be involved. You want to, you know, you, you want that feeling like you are, you know, dealing with something that's bigger than you, but you're a part of that. And I get it. Do not get me wrong for one second. I get it. But that's the problem. That's the hobbyist in you. That's the, the pure enthusiast, not even the weekend warrior or the person who really wants to make some money, that is the hobbyist in you that wants to be a part of that. Now, that's not to say that you wouldn't want to be a part of you know, what the company is doing to feel bigger and, and better about yourself, because that's natural. You always want to be a part of something. You want, to, you want to grow with what you're doing. But 
what you want to do is you need to find a product line and I'm going to just put it out there like this. I own DetailJuice.com. You guys know that. Um, I, I'm not sugarcoating it or trying to pretend like I'm not the owner of a product line because that, that is what I do. Um, in fact, 85% of my business now is, is the product line. I mean, um, you know, I deal with a lot of social media stuff, but social media is a very, very small percentage of what I do. I just happen to use that as a, you know, a way to get feedback from people and to talk to people and that kind of thing. And, um, for the most part, it works well, but the problem with the social media is you can get sucked in. I mean, that bandwagon thing is a nasty, nasty, nasty problem. And then, you know, I'm going to Google, well, I did already, I Googled bandwagon. The definition from Google of bandwagon is a particular activity or cause that has suddenly become fashionable or popular. So all of a sudden, these new products come out and your buddy has to have this product and a lot of times he hasn't even bought the product yet but he's got to have it and then that makes you got to have it you got to have what he has and you know he gets a problem product and he just you know you know this is the other situation he'll buy the product he'll get it and either he likes it or he hates it like there's generally not a gray area you either love it or you hate it uh detailing pro products are are there's a lot of opinion in there and and you know most of them work uh, all of them work differently from different manufacturers you know I work directly with my chemist to come up with the formulas for my products and you know everything in my line is formulated to my exact specifications as a pro detailer not a random guy who had a bunch of money and wanted his own product line I, I everything that is in my line is designed by me for me to make money at it while I'm not compromising quality. I mean, that, that's, that's the name of the game. Provide the customer a good quality result, make that customer happy, and that's what it's about. <sighs> My advice to you is stop wasting money. Keep paying attention to what these guys on the, the you know, your, your, your forums and your Facebook groups, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with being a part of that and watching what they're doing. But I'm, I'm asking that you be smarter about it and you find products that really work well for you and you continue to use them. Um, whether it's my products or someone else's products, it doesn't matter. For this, for this video, it's not about my products per se. Um, I am telling you that mine was designed for exactly what I'm explaining to you, but I'm also saying it doesn't matter what you use. If you love it, you enjoy it, use it a lot. Find a, a system that works for you of processes that complement the products and vice versa so that you can better serve your customers because ultimately that's what it's about. Making money does not happen if you cannot make your customer happy. Uh, whether you're going to be a uh, production detailer, and I, I'll tell you that I feel like I've done a complete 360 in my career. I was all about the the paint corrections and had to do the coatings and stuff. And you know, you know, over the past couple of years, I've, I've I've seen you know some cars that I did back in the day, and you know how customers take care of them, and you know the patterns of the customer base that I have and uh, you know I've, I've picked up new customers from other detailers and you know I, I do a lot of research I pay a lot of attention to the situations uh, and the customers that I have been dealing with uh, over the past I'll, I'll say I've been in Florida for eight years so over that time when I really started to get serious about the business end um, I started the YouTube channel you know I, I, I have a presence online you know I, I was on all the forums and that kind of thing I don't do that much anymore uh, but you know social media is a pretty big deal and I encourage you to be a part of that but don't get sucked in to these manufacturers and, and again I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with what they're doing in fact it is good business to continue to interact with your customers and and you know, do things and release things and improve things that attract your customers to the business. So these product line manufacturers with all these lines of product, 
uh, and you know always releasing new stuff and it, that's good for business that is good for business and you know most product line manufacturers have several awesome products um, but how are you to know what you need to use? Uh, you, you don't really. Um, you know, you literally could have 50 bucks in your pocket and a day off and just decide one day you want to start a detailing company. And so you walk into a big box store and, you know, you walk out with a cart full of detailing su supplies. And, you know, some of that stuff might be your favorite stuff. You know, you, you know that's fine. None of that is a problem. My point is, use products for some, from someone that you trust. Get started that way. And try one at a time. Don't go buy a hundred different things because then if you are on product five and you love it, where's the other 95 products gonna go? They're gonna sit on your shelf and you've just wasted all that money. And you know, I'm sure Companies have a return policy, but my point is, use a use a particular product. For example, car wash soap. Um, use buy a soap, use it, decide what it is that you like or don't like about it, and you know do some research on soaps. It's all about the research, and you know the internet is slam full of valuable information. Just don't let your buddies and the bandwagon situation lure you in to buying all kinds of different stuff. Um, if you were to use my product line um, or you're interested in getting into it to see if what I'm trying to tell you is really how my line works, I'll do whatever I can to earn your business. I want your business. My passion in this has, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's in the whole thing. It's, it's, it's in the the labor side and doing the work but it's also in the helping people side like I, i'm extremely passionate about helping people in their detailing endeavors that's what i want to do i want to see you be successful i'm already successful at it i've already proven myself uh you know years of experience you know i feel like there's nothing i can achieve when it comes to detailing a car and you know I also feel like, you know, if I can't fix it, it most likely can't be fixed. Um, and that's not me being cocky, it's just me like, like I feel, I feel good about it. You have to feel good about yourself. You have to really feel like you know what you're doing. And that comes from experience. You do not wake up one day with that 50 bucks in your pocket in a day off and just become a professional detailer and know the things that you need to know to make every customer happy. And that's what I'm here for. That's what uh, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation is here for, to support my product line and my processes. So I've got you covered and I'll earn your business. I'll do whatever it takes to earn your business. And if I can't make my products work for you, I'll buy back the unused, unused portion, period. There, you know, no big deal. We can make it work. Um, but if you want to make your life easier and, uh, you know, the bottom line is most people who are just starting out don't have a lot of money to put into it. They're, you know, a, a lot of people do, do it the wrong way. I mean, that, that's reality. I mean, I mean, I've, I've seen guys with three kids and, uh, a mortgage and, and, and a wife and, you know, all of, you know, four cars and uh, I can remember two or three people who just up and quit their job and you know that's a scary situation you should not do that um without the experience in business to back it up i mean you, you don't just jump into business you got to work at it you got to figure out what works you got to figure out what the trends are and and that kind of thing but this video is about not wasting money because you don't have to. Put the money in your pocket. Don't give it to someone else. And again, look at those Facebook groups. Look at those forums online. Read what people are saying. But don't put a lot of effort into what they say. Don't get sucked in by that trickery. And 
spend all that money. There's, there's no reason to do that. Do yourself a favor and take that piece of advice from me. Again, find something that you like, add it to your arsenal, move on to the next product, period. Um, also, pay attention to how concentrated things are, whether you're buying a bunch of water in a product that's ready to use or whether you're buying a concentrate, um, and really give that a lot of thought as well. I mean, all of my con my products are concentrated. Like, I, I don't believe in shipping you water, um, so everything's concentrated. If you do that, if you pay attention to the things that you buy, you're really going to be in good shape. You're going to put more money in your pocket, and you're going to be able to save for nicer equipment or whatever it is that you need. Um, I mean, the industry is just slam full of companies that want your money. Do not get me wrong. I would love to have you on board for sure. I am a businessman and I am selling that right now. I mean, that's it. I want to earn your business. I want to make money too. I have hobbies. Detailing is a business for me. I like doing it. Don't get me wrong, but this is my business. This is how I feed my family. This is how I buy things that I like to do. But find something that you like, use it all the time, and focus on making that customer happy, not focusing on making your friends happy and, 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 and jumping on with that crowd. Uh, that's the wrong way to do it. So save yourself some money. And don't buy everything and anything that's the hottest, latest and greatest thing on the market. Um, and that's really all I have for you. Uh, that tip in itself is going to save you a lot of money um, and in, improve your business and the growth of it exponentially because... First of all, you don't have a bunch of stuff you're not using and then you feel remorse for it later. Um, but it's also, like I said, you're saving that money so you have it to put towards other things like bills, like, you know, moving on to the next product, um, you know, that kind of thing, signage, website, uh, all kinds of stuff for your business. And um, if you got any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. 813-846-4406 uh, is my cell phone number, and that's all I got for you today. I hope that I have helped someone out there. I appreciate each and every one of you guys who watch my YouTube channel, who spend the time to listen to me yap, and um, you know, we nobody has all of the right answers. I can tell you that I've been around the block <laughs> a time or 27. You know what I mean? So I've got a lot of those answers. I can help you with a lot of that. Uh, so this little tidbit I gave you is nothing compared to the, oh, I got my list somewhere. Anyway, I got a, a large list of videos that I'm going to be shooting. Uh, reach out. That's all you got to do. I'm only a phone call or a message away at any given time. Again, nobody's perfect. And we all do things sometimes in, and, and, and show ourselves and do things in the wrong light. All you got to do is take the, the best advice that you can and move forward from it. So thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day and I wish you the best of luck. And if I can help you with your detailing endeavors, whether you're using my products or not, now that's kind of a trade, right? So like, be super cool if you use my stuff, but you don't have to. I'm passionate about this stuff. I love it. And I'm passionate about helping you guys. So thanks again. I can tell you that. Look, I'll sit here and tell you thank you all night. Thanks for watching this video. Just thanks for being here. I appreciate you. you sh you're, you're spending your time with me. Um, thank you. Have a wonderful day.